Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, continuing with the topic of Boolean Algebra and Boolean Theorems. Two of the most important theorems of Boolean Algebra were contributed by a great mathematician named De Morgan. And De Morgan's theorems are extremely useful in simplifying expressions in which a product or a sum of variables is complemented. And the two theorems are, we have x or y complemented is equal to x naught and y naught and x and y complemented is equal to x naught or y naught. De Morgan's theorems are used whenever you need to modify an expression containing large inverter signs. Inverters over more than one variable, for example. Here we have a b naught inverted times c naught. So we have an inverter sign over two variables. Let's take a closer look. The first one we have x or y naught equal to x naught and y naught. And what this is telling us is that when we take the or sum of two variables, x and y, and they're complemented, this is the same as if the two variables were individually complemented and then and together. So when the or sum of two variables is complemented this is the same as if the two variables were individually complemented and then and together. And we could state that another way. Um, the complement of the or sum equals the and product of the complements. The complement of the or sum equals the and product of the complements. So now let's take a look at the second theorem which states that x and y not is equal to x not or y not. And what this says is that when the product of two variables x and y is complemented, the result is equivalent to complementing the individual variables x and y and then oring the result. And again, we can state this another way. The complement of an AND product is equal to the OR sum of the complements. The complement of an AND product is equal to 
the or sum of the complements. So now let's take a look at these two theorems from the standpoint of logic circuits. So the first one we have x or y naught equal to x naught and y naught. Well the left side of the equation here this is a NOR gate. Where this is x or y not with the two inputs x and y. And this is equivalent to an AND gate. The right side of the equation shows an AND gate with inverters on the inputs. So this here is x naught and y naught, and this is x and y. In fact, you will actually come across two symbols for the NOR gate. We have this symbol here that we've seen before, and we have an AND gate where the inverters are reduced to just showing these small circles on the AND symbol. So this is also a representation, a symbol representation for the NOR gate, which is an AND gate with two circles on the inputs representing the inverters. So now let's take a look at the second theorem from the standpoint of a logic circuit. And we have x and y not equal to x not or y not. Well, the left side of the equation here you can recognize as a NAND gate. You have x and y, and this is x and y not. The right side of the equation is an OR gate with inverters on the inputs. And like the equivalent for the NOR gate, we take the NOR symbol and we can reduce those inverter signs to just two small circles. And you will see these two symbols representing a NAND gate. So this is a NAND gate. And this is also the symbol for a NAND gate. So these are equivalent. So now what I thought I'd do is uh, use the Heathkit Digital Trainer to verify these two theorems wiring up some logic gates. So let's take a look at that. So the first theorem we're going to verify is the NOR gate equivalent to an AND gate with inverters on the input. So looking into my vintage TTL data book, I found that a 7402 is a NOR gate. And here you can see it's a quadruple two input positive NOR gate. So we only need to use one of these gates. We have the two inputs as two and three and the output is pin one. And power is 14 and ground is pin seven. It's a 14 pin device. But I also need a 7404 and a 7408. And if we look in here, there's a 7404, it's hex inverters, so there's six inverters on one IC. And the input is pin one and the output is pin two. 
We need to put one of these inverters on each of the inputs of an AND gate, which we see here is a 7408. So we look here, 7408, here we go. Quadruple two input positive AND gate. And we have inputs as uh, pin one and two. Those are where the inverters will go, and we have the output pin here as pin three. And remember that the NOR gate has a one for an output, only when both inputs are zero. For all other cases, the output will be zero. So this NOR gate, logic output level, and this AND gate with the two inverters on the inputs should have the exact same uh, output. So let's get the Heathkit trainer. So I have the two circuits side by side. Here's the NOR gate. It's a 7402. And here I have the 7408 and the 7404 inverter chip. And I have four switches here for the inputs. These are the two inputs to the NOR gate and this is the two inputs to the inverters that then go to the input on the AND gate. So we can see here this is the output these two LEDs here and here output from the NOR gate and the output from the AND gate. So if they're at they're both at zero you can see both outputs are high for all of the combinations as soon as any of the inputs is a one on the NOR gate the output is low and the same for the for the AND gate. So if we start off with zeros and we go through the combinations. It's a 1 and a 1. And then 2 in binary. And then a 1 and a 1. It's 3. So that verifies that both circuits are equivalent. And both circuits will produce a high output only when both inputs are zero. So that verifies theorem one which states that the complement of an OR sum is equal to the AND product of the complements. Now to verify the second theorem X and Y naught is equal to X naught OR with Y naught need two additional uh, ICs here, 7400, which is a NAND gate, and a 7432, which is an OR gate. And if we look in the TTL book here, we have the quadruple two input positive NAND gate. It's a 7400. And the 7432. Here we have the 7432, we have a quadruple, two input positive OR gate, 7432. So we're going to wire up a 7400 and we're going to show that it's equivalent to a 7432 OR gate with 7404 inverters on the inputs or vice versa. So I have all three ICs wired up to verify this second theorem. We have the first IC here is a 7400. That's the NAND gate. And if you recall, the NAND gate is low only when both inputs are high. For all of the cases, the output will be high. So I start off with two ones on the input. And you can see the LED is not lit. Uh, for any other combination, the output is lit, the output is high. 
And the same thing goes for the 7432, which is right here with the uh, 7404 inverters on the input. We have two highs and no LED lit. As soon as any other combination, the LED, the output will be high. So it's equivalent to the NAND gate. So an OR gate with inverters on the inputs is equivalent to an AND gate. And this verifies it. So let's solve a problem utilizing these two De Morgan, De Morgan's theorems. So if we evaluated a logic circuit and ended up with this Boolean expression for the output, uh, we can use De Morgan's theorems to break up the large inverter sign over this expression. So when we break this large inverter sign up, we change this operator to its opposite. So this would become A naught or C inverted or B or D naught inverted. And then we can further break up these two inverter signs again changing the operator when we do so. So this becomes A double knot and C knot or together with B knot and D double knot and the double knots cancel each other out so we have A C knot or together with B naught D. So this can't be reduced any further, so we have Z equal to A C naught or together with B naught D. So that pretty much covers the two Boolean theorems and how they can be used to simplify a Boolean expression and also what they mean from the standpoint of a logic circuit, the two equivalent logic circuits for each of those theorems. So I hope you found this video interesting. Please like, subscribe, and or comment. And thanks for watching.